time now for Ask the Expert. Families preparing to send their kids back to school. That means a lot of shopping and a lot of doctor's appointments. Yes, yeah, so don't forget about the dentist. Joining us live this afternoon, Dr. Donald Gunlock, the Regional Clinic Director for Dental Associates. So let's talk about kids and healthy teeth. You like to go by Dr. Don, so you have who, Dr. Dean or Dr. Dino. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get this so what do we should think about when we go back to school here in terms of... It's a puppet. I got to play with it. <laughs> Brushing so your teeth, obviously important. This is the proper technique of brushing. Yes. It's a good motion, actually. It's a nice yeah. circular, circular motion. Circular, yeah. yes. It's a good time to go back. You know, kids are getting ready for, for sports, and, uh, you know, they want to get mouth cards for those sports activities, and we want to talk about brushing and make sure their teeth are in good shape before they go back to school. Okay, so you have some uh, things here. This caught my attention because I'm like, oh, this very is, interesting yes. color-coordinated co uh, samples here, but it's to make a point. Yes, you know, we start over here with this the amount of sugar that you'll find in common drinks. On, the, uh, on this end here, this is whole milk, 2% milk. It has about uh, 2 grams of sugar, and it goes all the way up from Gatorade, Kool-Aid, orange juice, all the way up to Mountain Dew, and, and grape juice actually have a significant amount of sugar, about 10, 10 tables, teaspoons. Yes. A lot of people, and a lot of yeah. kids, go right for the juice. juice right. And I mean, a lot of parents, it's healthy, it's yes. fruit, but... I mean, a there's, lot. There's a lot of sugar in there, and there's a lot of acid in there. The combination of sugar and acid is very hard on your teeth. Juice, you want to limit to about two, maybe four ounces a day, and I would dilute it with water, about 50-50, oh. and, and allow that. And just have it during a meal. Don't know how free access during the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so how do you use uh, Dino? Dino here? Well, I'll take the toothbrush. You can hold on to Dino. Oh, That's that? a big toothbrush. So it's kind of <laughs> terrifying to see its mouth. <laughs> it's a little scary, right? Yeah. So what we show the kids is we want to do a nice circular type motion so that the bristles of the brush get into the gum line and, and get all that plaque and all those sugar bugs, as we like to call them, off of your teeth. And that's a good way to help motivate parents or for parents to motivate their children is to talk about the sugar bugs on their teeth and how to remove them. I imagine with the, you've got some cool toothbrushes here, you know, toothpaste is cooler these days. It Kids is. probably like to brush yes. their teeth, right? Yes. And the nice thing is, is you really should replace your toothbrush about every three months. Right. So every three months they get to go and pick out a new toothbrush and you can see we've got colored ones there. They have ones that play music. Ones Do that you have recommend um, the... The rotary one instruments? Yeah. Yes, they work very well. Uh, okay. I think they do a very nice job. And I think parents, if they set a good example and say, oh, i got to go brush my teeth, my teeth feel so clean afterwards, mm -hmm. it'll motivate the kids as well. So. And okay. kids should floss at what yes. start age? As, as soon as the teeth come in. The, the baby teeth have very thin enamel mm -hmm. and they're very prone to decay, and you want to make sure that you get that food out in between okay. their teeth. Okay, and when they come home from school, they're starving, I need a snack, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Fresh, healthy. healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables. Stay away from anything dried fruits like raisins. Those also concentrate sugar oh. and they're very sticky. Uh, cheese actually has an ingredient in it that, that fights decay, so that's very good. Mm -hmm. But any type of fresh fruits, I kind of use the guideline. Anything in a bag I try to avoid, and anything uh, that's fresh and uh, healthy is what we like to recommend. All right. All, yeah. good, all good reminders. Thank yes. you. Thank you. If you have a question for our experts, you can email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail, that number right there on your screen, 967-5253.